Hey guys, even here, and in this video, we got a couple of very interesting bodybuilding updates. We are starting though with a physique update of Derek Lansford, our current Mr. Olympia champion, who is supposed to defend his title this year against a couple of heavy hitters. Will he be able to defend and win another one? Well, that's a big question. So here we can see his physique in the midst of his off-season, but really his off-season is coming to an end. And throughout this year, we really haven't seen Derek looking super blown up. It's not like last year. Last year, he was freaking massive this time of the year. In case you forgot, let me refresh your memory. You guys remember how massive his legs especially were. And that's actually his weakest body part and probably the reason why he didn't get completely shredded for the open division because if he got totally shredded he would lose a lot of fullness in those legs and he wouldn't look big enough compared to the other open guys so that's the body part that is kind of holding him back last year those legs looked like they doubled in size they literally looked like they were his strongest body part along with his back and honestly everything else looked super massive super big super full he looked like a legit mass monster and so i thought this year if he wants to defend the title he needs to come better meaning more conditioned and if he wants to get more conditioned and stay the same size he needs to get bigger in the off season did he get bigger this off season i gotta say no i don't see it in all of his physique updates so far he looked good i'm not saying he looked bad but did he go another level another step no i'm not seeing that he did stay however very lean in the off season but did he get bigger heavier no no it doesn't seem like he truly pushed this off season in the caption here he says back in the states after a great weekend at fibo so he was traveling he's doing what he's supposed to do as the Mr. Olympia. A lot of people are saying that that's why they chose him instead of Hadi because he's a better ambassador. So now he's doing what he needs to do, but it's probably costing him a little, but only a little bit. It's more about what he's doing when he's home, a weekend of traveling here and there. I mean, if he tries and brings food and really tries hard, it probably wouldn't hurt him that much, but I don't think he's pushing things this off season. Maybe he's trying to play it safe maybe he doesn't want to grow anymore which is totally understandable but can he really win another mr olympia title that way the problem with that is Hari Japan. we just saw what he is capable of bringing at the arnold classic and he's most likely going to repeat something like that at the mr olympia he is going to come in shredded because he knows now that is the best way he can look maybe last year he tried to come in a little bit bigger and fuller and the year before as well but i think this year they figured it out when Hari is conditioned it's really hard to deny him a lot of people are saying that this is like one of the best physiques of all time i mean ronnie coleman phil heat let's say dorian yates jay cutler and maybe you could make an argument for Hari being in that top five his arnold classic version so we know that Hadi is coming strong, he wants to regain his title and also he probably had a really nice rebound off of this show and I think he did make progress from the Mr. Olympia to Arnold and I think he will make a little bit more progress, he will utilize this rebound as well as he did the last one, so we can probably expect a little bit improved Hadi Japan with insane conditioning, I don't think it can get any better than it was here and if he's like this, and if Derek Lansford is not improved, he's gonna lose to Hadi. So I don't know what he's doing. So far, it seemed like he was really driven, that he really wanted to be the best and to stay up there. But this season, I'm not so sure anymore. He became a father, so maybe he's more fearful. Maybe he's taking that foot off of the gas. Maybe he's trying to keep it safe, to stay healthier maybe he's not really as crazy as he was when he was younger and uh, willing to push things to the extreme which is required if you want to be the best in the world and it seems like Hadi is willing to do all that so i don't think Derek lansford is going to be able to repeat in fact i could potentially see him dropping down below samson if samson nails his conditioning or at least brings something similar to the arnold classic 2024 but as far as Derek, 
yeah, I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing that he's making progress or that he's even as big as he was last year in the offseason. And I'm not basing this only off of this physique update, I'm basing it off of everything I saw from him lately. But if you guys think something else, just tell me down below in the comment section. Alright, next up we got a little physique update from our Mr. Olympia, classic physique runner-up and also this year Arnold Classic runner-up. So we'll see what's gonna happen at the Mr. Olympia, but right now we can see what Ramon looks like and... You know, he's maintaining solid conditioning, it seems like he's slowly getting bigger, maybe he got a little bit softer in the midsection area, which is uh, what should happen, because he needs to bring the size back up. I think the reason, the main reason why he lost the Arnold Classic to Wesley Wizards was because he was down in size. He was not as big as he was at the Mr. Olympia, so if he wants to go back to where he was, to being second in the world and, you know, potentially first, you know, challenging Chris Bumstead, he needs to bring the size back up and I think he's doing just that right now. And he probably felt comfortable and confident and he decided to make this little selfie and post it on his feed so we can see what he looks like. This guy is not really posting a lot of physique updates, but now that a lot of people sign him off as the second best classic physique in the world and are having Wesley Wissers, in his spot, maybe he's gonna have to try a little bit harder to prove to us to start believing in him again. Now, as far as him versus Wesley Wisters in the Mr. Olympia, that's a, that's a really, really tough one. So, at the Arnold Classic, Wesley won by a single point. It was extremely close, and the reason, again, why he lost was probably, I think, because Ramon was smaller than usual. He had a very short prep, he didn't bring the size back up, so he was down in size and he was a little bit flatter, especially in the legs. He was conditioned, but without that fullness, he didn't look the same. And Wesley, I mean, he has some really standout poses and I would say body parts as well. Like, his back is extremely wide, his biceps are crazy, he has that Arnold-like look. And also, he's a very tall and very, very big guy. He's really imposing on that stage. So, he will probably draw a lot of attention. But when you go into details, when you really analyze their physiques, and if Ramon is at his best, again, if we're basing this off of Arnold Classic, where Wesley won by one point when Ramon was off, it would mean that if Ramon takes more time to prep and comes in at his best, He's going to beat Wesley Wisters. Wesley cannot make some kind of crazy progression in this off season, this short off season. So mathematically, the odds are in Ramon's favor. But you know, this is bodybuilding. It's very subjective. Maybe on that day, the judges will prefer Wesley's physique. Maybe somebody decides that's the direction they want to go with, and they choose him instead. So at this point, it's pretty much impossible to predict what's going to happen, assuming both of these guys are on. But I'm really glad to see. Ramon Dino in the gym right now getting bigger and fuller this off season and it seems like he's gonna be focused and driven and he's gonna give it all he's got for the Mr. Olympia and if that happens be my guest you tell me down below but I think the safest bet would be on him not Wesley Wissers but it's very possible that they choose Wesley instead of Ramon because they want to change the direction and also Ramon I mean if he wants to beat Chris Bumstead Chris needs to be off, really off, and Ramon needs to be really on. But Wesley, he can just be a little bit improved, fix that lower body to upper body imbalance, and if he is like really conditioned and full and everything, he can potentially really challenge Chris Bumstead. At least I think so. Maybe I'm totally wrong. We'll see when these guys step on stage. But as for right now, this is gonna be a very interesting rematch. Tell me down below, guys, who do you have at a Mr. Olympia? Wesley Wissers or Ramondino? Alright, next up we got a little physique update of Nexilla, Rubial Mosquera. Brion Ainsley is there as well, but we gotta ignore him right now. Let's focus on Nexilla. So, it looks like this guy is getting in condition. The last time we saw him posing, he wasn't this lean. He's definitely getting leaner. And as far as I know, his plan is Dubai Pro against Andrew Jack. So, it's gonna be a really tough show for him to win, if he wants to beat Andrew Jack, he needs to come in extra freaky. Even then, I don't know if it's possible. I mean, Andrew Jack is just, you know, really good. Even when he's off, he's really good because of his shape. But 
Nickzilla is probably the freakiest guy today in modern bodybuilding. I mean, maybe him and Nick Walker, but like he's up there. He definitely has bigger legs, that's for sure. And again, his conditioning is getting better, so maybe he's gonna try and like really come in super shredded and also as big as possible. But even if he comes in like Ronnie Coleman condition and maturity and details and everything and with his size, I still am not sure if he could beat Andrew Jack because of Nixilla's shape. His shape is definitely not the prettiest out there. I mean, he has a lot of good body parts. You can see like everything is pretty much there. Like the arms are massive. The shoulders is something he needs to work on, but you know, they're not small by any means. Legs are insane, calves and upper leg as well, chest is there, back is also very good, so he's very very complete, and we saw at the Prague Pro that he can come in conditioned, it's not like an insane level of conditioning, but it's probably more conditioned than Andrew Jack ever was, especially in the glutes and the hamstrings, but the shape, the shape is not really that good, and Andrew Jack has a lot of size as well, but uh, Nexilla's shape not the prettiest, not the best looking, but if he tweaks his posing a little bit more and if he comes in really conditioned with all this size, I don't know. I, I know one thing, it's gonna be a very interesting battle, that's for sure. And as you can see, Nexilla is getting more conditioned. So you guys tell me in the comment section whatever you think. If you enjoyed this video, guys, give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more content like this, guys, please subscribe to this channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you soon. All the best and bye-bye.